Hey YouTubers, this is an update to my homemade pedal exerciser, which is also a generator. I had one of these I built about four years ago, but I've completely dismantled it and decided to rebuild another one from scratch to save on a little space. So I came up with this design. I can still sit and, uh, and work out. And the idea of this is I can sit here and I can pedal, and as I'm pedaling, it turns this generator. The generator produces power and I can use that to charge various devices. So that's the basic idea. So let me just explain a little bit how I put this together. The base was a pedal exerciser that I got from Goodwill and it was one of those resistance ones that had the real tiny uh, cranks on it. So I took that whole part off and I wanted to put on my own bottom bracket. So I actually put on a a bicycle bottom bracket and that allowed me to use standard bicycle parts and cranks. I was able to use this triple chain ring, these cranks, and then I got a longer spindle. This is one I use on my electric bicycle and so this allows clearance of the pedals to clear the motor uh, on both sides. So by doing that uh, there's plenty of clearance on both sides uh, for the motor and that's why I wanted a longer spindle. Now it's connected to the pedal exerciser um, by using this square tubing. On the bottom I have angle iron and the square tubing is connected to that and then the bottom bracket is connected to that one. The bottom bracket is connected to the base also by this bolt. So I have one bolt that goes into the bottom bracket. I have another one that also goes into the square tubing so two of them are inside there and I put these hose clamps on just to make sure it's extra secure so everything here is attached with metal and tightened down real good and I haven't had any problems so far with that shifting so I was able to mount all that without using any kind of welding so that's the first part of it is how I connected to it so coming over here I have a metal plate and that is where the inverter is connected to with velcro and then I have the, the motor is bolted on and that motor is an MY 1016Z3 motor it's usually for electric bicycles but I, I got it because it's got a gearbox inside and so therefore not much gearing is is needed to have this produced in the right amount this motor has to be spinning fast enough to produce 12 volts and that's 12 volts of DC power goes into the inverter and the inverter converts it to AC where I can use it to plug in various devices. So this has a little forgiveness. You can go anywhere between 11 volts and 15 volts to go into the inverter to have it start producing power. So there's a little bit of play uh, in there. Now I like pedaling at a faster cadence, about 80 RPMs. So I didn't need to use the larger sprockets on here. I was able to use the smaller 24 tooth sprocket on the triple chain ring and then I have a, a 9 tooth sprocket on the motor itself. So that gear ratio works the best to go with the cadence that I wanted uh, for this particular setup. And that's the, the basics of the bicycle itself. You can see that I also have folding pedals on here um, just to save some space. So I can open these up and Attached to the whole frame, I have this handle, and I have the handle here, so that way I can hold on to it while I'm pedaling, because this sometimes has a tendency to shift on the floor, and so by holding on to the handle, it makes it more stable. So I'm going to give you a demonstration of how this works right now. I'm going to start pedaling, and you should see this green light will come on the inverter, showing that it's receiving power, and that's going to turn on these devices. I have a HP touchpad, I have a shaver, and then I have a phone, and so I'm going to charge all these up. Now this is not that much of a workout. This is only going to be about 15 watts, but I just want to start with that to show you just the basics of it running. So now I'm going to start pedaling, and you'll, you should see that green light come on. So there's a green light, indicates that inverter is receiving power. And there you go, you got the touchpad just turned on. The phone is on and also the shaver indicates that they're receiving power and it's because I'm pedaling is why those devices are charging right now. 
That's 100% power created by me. There's no more cords or anything going to it. I'm producing power for this right now. And if I stop, then the charging stops on these devices. I want something that's a little bit more uh, challenging. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in a lamp. This is a 60 watt bulb that's in here. And so now this will up the workout. So by doing this, um, I'll be able to get probably 80, 85 watts. And this is definitely more of a workout that I can feel. So let's try that. So you can hear the motor, motor's whining a little bit more, meaning that much more power is needed. And I can definitely feel resistance on this right now to keep this up. So I gotta keep this going fast enough. Otherwise the inverter will beep at me and tell me to pick up the pace. So the lamp is on, these devices are charging, producing all the power that's needed for these devices right now. And you can see that if I stop, then instantly uh, the light turns off and everything stops. So that is a more intense workout. And I would do that maybe for a half hour, 45 minutes, and definitely work up a good sweat on that. If you're wondering about how much power this is gonna save, well, it's not gonna save much power at all. I might be lucky to save a penny of electricity for doing this one hour, but that's not the point. I'm not doing this to save money. I'm doing this for a workout. And I get more motivated to work out knowing that I'm actually doing something. I'm actually charging devices while I'm working out. So it's, it's just much better than just riding a regular old boring exercise bike for hours. At least I know that I'm actually taking that energy and using it for something. So I'm working out and I can charge these devices at the same time. So that's why I decided to build this. That's my video, thanks for watching.